Valdez and Betsy Karetnik. I'm Martha Stewart, Living Radio, Sirius 112. It's 21 minutes after the hour on Morning Living with Kim and Betsy. And you know, our producer, if you didn't know, she's getting married. <laughs> so like every day she's like, oh, you guys, I have like a really good idea. I'm going to bring in a wedding professional. Again. Again. <laughs> no, no, no. We actually love it. And you know that, you know, the magazine weddings is so fabulous. And this is your opportunity to ask any wedding question you'd like or share something in particular that happened at your wedding. Good or bad. <laughs> The dress. Share the dress. Everybody share the has a dress. good dress story. Okay. So, you remember it like it was yesterday. Well, no, because I'm old. But the day I remember before it. yesterday. <laughs> I'm, at least I can remember it. That's what I like about that story. Did you have a bustle? I did. How did that all go for you? Better for me than for my sister who had to bustle me up. Ugh. She's like, hold on a second. I'm like, hurry up. The Too many hooks. The hour is expiring. <laughs> <laughs> tick, tick. I'm paying for this. Let's go. <laughs> did you change? Not for until the after I changed into my departure outfit. I one I remember one time because I've been married three times. Um, I was like Cher. I had so many costume changes because I wanted to be comfortable. So you put on sweatpants? No, not that comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> but if you would like to share your wedding experience, you can at eight six 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 seven five six six seven five. And we thought that we would bring in some fabulous trained professionals who perhaps will become an addition to your weekend of viewing. Randy Finale and Nicole Sacco are here. It's so great to have both of you here. Good morning, ladies. So, we're talking Sunday, the big show? Absolutely. Yes, are you excited? Very excited. Tell everybody about the show. Um, This Sunday is the ultimate wedding edition um, on TLC at 10 o'clock. And um, we actually have three really heartwarming couples that come into the store with really close weddings and Nicole and I work with them. Go ahead, Nicole. Well, it's what not we just do? any store. Let's review. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because this is yes. an historic store. I mean, if you're a bride, you know the store. Right. This is the ultimate store in the world. Kleinfeld's is the largest and most prestigious bridal gown salon in the world. Where? It is in New York City, mm-hmm. um, 20th Street, between um, 6th and 7th. The heart of Chelsea. Beauty. Yes. Now, although it didn't used to be. No, you guys moved. We were originally in Bay Ridge on 5th Avenue and 82nd Street for many years, since 1941. So so it's got a pretty long history. Absolutely. And I'm sure many, many, many stories. Many stories. Many, many stories. beautiful <laughs> dreams coming true at Kleinfeld. Sometimes there's a process involved, though. I'm and that's sure. what the show is about. Yes, yes. Um, we actually, um, with these three brides, we have very short, um, a very short time to get their wedding dresses to them. And How short? Well, well we one have, is 24 hours. Yeah, 40, <laughs> yeah, we have 48 hours to put on a wedding for this, exactly. for, for this one couple. Well, what happened? Why did, it, why did they wait to the very last second, or did they not? It's kind of like an eloping, crazy oh. wedding we- get weekend here They really thought that they could come to New York City and just find a spot and have a wedding. and um, All the, in two days. Yes. <laughs> Were they from yes. under a rock? I mean, have they, <laughs> they've done nothing in their New life? Orleans, no, my New hometown. Orleans, my hometown. Oh, my gosh. Yes. You know, a lot of people don't realize that you generally generally need about um, eight months minimum to plan a wedding and right. get a dress and you know go through the whole process. Well, it brings me to this question, and then we're going to get to some wedding stories with some listeners here, but if you only have 48 hours to get someone ready, are you really honest with them? No, you have to be. Absolutely. I think we're always honest. Yeah. yeah. Like if it <laughs> looks so when awful, they put the dress on, you're like, take it off. Take it, it off. No, 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 no. I have to tell you, I... <laughs> am honest up to a point um i am i am there for one reason and that's to make sure the bride is gorgeous in right. her dress i want i want her to look beautiful where were you when i got married i, know. Yeah. Me too. I was probably in retirement for a few years <laughs> but but you know what occasionally Honey, you were in grade school when i got married <laughs> no 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 i'm, I'm twice as old it. as you i'll bet um however occasionally you'll have a bride in a dress and she's looking in the mirror and she loves how she looks and she loves right. the dress and if i hate it that's when it's time for me to step back. So what do you, you know? do? You just like I'll I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee. That's usually what I do because I my, my expression, <laughs> my face. You can easily yeah. read my face. I'm I'm pretty much known as the honest one, and that the the consultants know not to call me in if if I right. don't like the dress. Randy right. wears his heart on his sleeve. Exactly. Is what we're saying. Yes, we're, we're, I do. And we're kind of very similar in that. We aspect, are Nicole and I are very similar. And how did you two end up getting together? Oh, oh, how did that part of it? Like they're both smiling. <laughs> Don't tell her husband. I'll get in big trouble. Or don't tell mine, either. Um, I was brought up... I, I've been in the store for nine years, so mm-hmm. uh, recently I was promoted to the director of sales, and as you know, Randy's the fashion director, and um, 
we work really, really well together. That's so awesome. it's, it's, it's interesting. And you'll see that on the show this Sunday when you plug in to tune in to TLC. It's just, you'll see our relationship and how we work. And it's a lot of fun. It's actually fun to wake up every morning and go to work. That's it's awesome. great to enjoy the job that you do. Um, I actually started sewing dresses for my mother at nine years old. Um, so my fashion- Underachiever. Yeah, and then um, I actually um, became a female impersonator. So I wore dresses for nine years. So you know them inside and out. I know them inside and out. Who else can say that they wore the dresses? They've made the dresses, and he Um, knows how it feels to walk in those heels. He's walked in those heels. (laughs) Many pair of stilettos. And um, then I actually um, went to school at FIT and studied fashion design. And then I had my. Um, line of bridal gowns um, that I designed for about 15 years. And then I went into um, a little hiatus. And then I came on as the fashion director at Kleinfelds, which is the greatest thing because now I don't have to design. I can just dress girls up with all of the designers that we carry in the salon. And That's I awesome. think the industry has changed, too. When you started, there was not yeah. a ton of variety. No, there, no, there, there wasn't. There wasn't. And now it's really flooded. Every Every single person out there that has any kind of collection loves and wants to do bridal. Well, we're going to share some wedding stories. They're going to share some wedding stories. But if you have one, 866-675-6675. I think Athena has one for us. Now, where are you from, Athena? Brooklyn. Very good. All right, so tell us your story. Good morning, Athena. Good morning, Athena. Do you guys know her? No, no, but she's a yes. Brooklyn girl. I don't know. She sounds I'm like she might be girl. a Brooklyn girl. I might know her. She's from the BK, <laughs> as they say. Go ahead, share your story with us, honey. Well, I actually found my wedding dress in a magazine about six months before my husband proposed. Oh, great. So you nailed down the dress before the man. That's okay. Maureen did that. (laughs) And when I went shopping for it, I showed my mom. I went and found the dress, and I showed my mom. And as soon as I came out, she started to cry. But you can't, ever re- you can't really ever read my mom, so I didn't know if she hated it or loved it. <laughs> <laughs> She's crying. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Did she, did, was yeah, it tears of know. joy, or did she th- see the price tag? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was both. <laughs> I think it was both. So who was uh, the wedding dress by, Athena? Uh, Mon Cherie. Mon Cherie, yes, yes. I'm very familiar with them. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's the, it was gold. That was the other thing that was totally everybody. I had everybody off. So you wore a gold list. dress. Were you listening yesterday? Because we're talking about yeah, wearing Maureen different colors. Thinking Maureen thought about, about gold. Yeah. I wore a gold dress. And it was beautiful because I may it have was... seen your pictures. Oh, really? Yes. Really? So how did the whole really? wedding go? And was there any disaster in, during it? <laughs> Notice how I go Actually, right for the negative. Well, you know what? It rained all morning. Oh. And as soon as we as soon as we had to go outside for our pictures, the sky opened up. Ah, uh, see, a sign. There so we were we were fine. El Senio, and if a bird would have pooped on your head, it would have been the perfect day. <laughs> you know, throw a little salt, you're good to go. <laughs> you know what? That's a that's a thing in my family. That every time a bir- a bird literally poops on my grandmother's yeah. head every yeah. time we have to go somewhere. See that? You know why they tell you it's good luck? Because otherwise, it would just be disgusting. Right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Now, Athena, are you going to watch the show this weekend? Oh, I'm addicted to it. Good for oh, you. Oh, you've got to see this Sunday night. It's a special <laughs> edition, and it's really great. I, it's 10 o'clock this Sunday night. I DVR it. I'm insane about it. I love that. <laughs> That's awesome. And thanks for calling and sharing with us, honey, too. And now, are you guys like therapists, too? I would imagine you are, sort of. It's like being a bartender. We, you know, they you go know, there for one purpose, but, uh, you know, they have, might be there for something else. We have else. many sofas in our salon. Very And true. occasionally we Very lay the brides true. down on, <laughs> down and on the sofas And we don't for only, only do the dress. It doesn't stop there. It right. goes from, like, talking about tuxedos and yes, ties yes. and this and that. You're constantly giving advice. And, and one of the most difficult things that we have to deal with is the family unit. You and know, how we, does that go? Right. Because would you rather just the bride walk in uh, alone? Or, or at least happens. with someone that's on the same page right. as them. Right, someone that's helpful. That's yeah, but it's key. usually an yeah. entourage moment. Key. It is. And, and you never know what everybody's motive is. Right. You know, is there a girlfriend looking for What do you mean their dress? motive? It's supposed to be getting the bride. That's yes. not what it is. That's Someone might be there to sabotage to it. Yes. That's what it is. And or you have maybe, to know how to handle that. Or maybe they don't have a good <laughs> taste level. Or maybe they want to put a dress on themselves. Yeah, right. Wait a minute. Why know. would they want to sabotage? Because, because maybe they, they're waiting their whole life to get engaged. Oy. And, you know, it, it didn't happen to them. Mm-hmm. Poor Maureen is freaking out. <laughs> She's like, Maureen, be careful on who you bring. She's bringing her sister. Who's married? care of you, Maureen. (laughs) But here's a question that I have also. If you bring somebody who is married, either your mother, your sister, whoever, do they start to try to work on the bride? Like, this is how it should go. Here are the mistakes that I made. Or, I mean, do they try to... To, it it to depends. Guide it. You know, some mothers are really great, and they're like, you know what? This is my daughter's wedding dress, and I right. want her to find what she loves. And we love those mothers. Right. Tell us a story. 
something that really sticks out in your head on on I look he's like already he's already laughing. You know I, I've got a lot of stories. Give me um, one good one. Okay, one time I was doing a trunk show with my collection in um, Michigan, and actually the father of the bride tried to pick me up. What? That's an interesting. <laughs> and I assume you don't mean lift you. No, 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 no. Um, no, he was writing me letters and things. It was quite interesting. Oh my! So I was a little. Um, so you show your most expensive wares, if you will, and say, you know, we'll talk after the show. Oh my yes. gosh! So I have an interesting story. Okay, tell. Um, I don't know if you watched last season, but we had a bride who came into the store. Angelina 20, Zito. Angelina Zito, who we came to the, st- the store 27 times. And not only... Wait, did, when did you start to count, though? Like, after 10? No, we started counting there was aliases, when, like, literally it wasn't any more appointments underneath Angelina, and it was, like, Angie and Angela and Ange, and I'm like, wow. Does this girl's not changing her don't name. don't recognize her? Well, she thought that she was fooling you by changing she, I think she. I think she did. But <laughs> let me tell you, every time she walked in that store, it was like... There was just a friendship made, and that's what I think this store is about. It's so mom and it's a big store if you've ever been there, but it's so mom and pop in in the way that it it's set up and family run, it feels that way, that people feel like they're part of the family. To her, she was just visiting a friend. To us, it was like, oh, well, she, she comes again. She was engaged. Yes, so I'm she just got checking. Married. She yes. was engaged. She was in a little bit of an older bride. She was not old, a little bit more mature. She was in her forties, found the love of her life, who was her hairdresser. And um she still physically comes in that I'll be outside on the phone, cell phone, walking around and she'll, I'll hear, hear, Nicole, Nicole. And there's Angelina Zito just walking down the block. <laughs> that's, ho- that's hilarious. And everything. She'll say, how's everything, Nicole? How's the store doing? I'm like, okay. You should so, put her to work as a sales rep for you guys. <laughs> we should. You know what? She knows your inventory. <laughs> you know what it is? Buying a dress is not like any other purchase. Right. It's an emotional purchase. Yeah, it's an emotional purchase. And, and you really have to trust the people that you're purchasing right. the dress from. And, you know, our owners, Mara Urschel and Ronnie Rothstein, they give out their cards with their home phone number on it. So you can call them up Oh, my God. Yeah, and so do I. So do I. Give up my card <laughs> I have exactly. my Blackberry on me 24 hours a day. A bride can reach me. We're talking so. about Kleinfeld, by the way, if you're just joining us. Yes. <laughs> and a <laughs> big old lifeline. And we're going to continue talking, but is there a website that people can go and check you guys out, too? Yes, sure. www.kleinfeldbridal.com. With a K, just With so you K. know. Now, let's just say, you guys, and, and we're talking with Randy Finale and also Nicole Sacco. If I'm a, the, for a first-time bride, I have never even been in a bridal shop, and I am going with my sister to go figure it all out, what should I come prepared with in my head or in my hands first of all come with the right the proper undergarments right what does that mean what does that mean wear underwear yes what (laughs) somebody doesn't wear underwear when they come in Uh, well we don't allow them to try on dresses right thank you for that i appreciate you know since you have to change into the dresses and somebody helps you in them we hope you have on the proper undergarments how many people does it take to help put on a dress it's like 15 it, people well, usually one usually it one but sometimes when we have to lace up a dress it takes <laughs> right. a couple of us all right so first of all wear proper undergarments and yes. is it just and, and wear them yes and, and right. wear them and and realize that you know we have 1700 wedding dresses in our salon and if you really communicate the truth to our consultants we can locate the correct dress right so before, we're, i'm not looking through a rack then i walk in and you say to me what yes where's right. your wedding what month is it um, how do you want to look? Because sometimes a few keywords can really lead us in the right direction. Exactly. Well, what do people say when you say, how do you want to look? Some of them will say, I want to be elegant. You know, I, be elegant. I want to be traditional. I've I always thought of sexy. myself as a timeless bride. Then you know that you're going towards the lace or something more traditional. If mm-hmm. it's somebody who wants to be sexy, you know she might want to be in a corset. or You can kind of get a, a consensus of, of course, the silhouette. Suck me in. And, I don't want <laughs> Where's the wedding? Is it on the beach in Mexico right. in the middle of July? Or is it in Toronto in November? Right. right. You know, so we kind of, you know, that's going to kind of determine what fashion you're going to wear. We look at the girl's body and we try to see what's going to look best for her silhouette, for her shape, um, her height, um, how many people are going to the wedding. Right. And, and really what's important that I'm not the best with is their budget. Right. Because we need, you know, we have dresses. Well, at least that, you're honest. You know, well, <laughs> I, you know, I think you have to look gorgeous no matter what the price. Right. Um, but if you give us the true budget, then we can usually work within those parameters. You know, we have dresses from, you know, 2000 to $30,000. So... No. Nothing under two thousand, huh? <laughs> um, we have a few dresses that a maybe eighteen hundred dollars uh-huh. or so, but that's about where it starts. If you would like to share your wedding story, wedding dress story with us, absolutely do it. Eight six 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 seven five six six seven five. So now, do you actually come out and say? What is your budget, or do you say what is I, your range? What I or? usually like to say is how much would you like to spend. Right. 
Yeah, How about it, they come to you with a magazine? Uh, they do that a lot. They okay, do that. They and, that and they say, I want this, but I want it for it a, a tenth right. of this Absolutely. price. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And then what do you do? I go find a dress. <laughs> we go find something that's similar. Yeah, similar. Th- uh-huh. That works within that budget that looks similar to that feeling. You know, um, uh, sometimes girls today are even coming with laptop computers and it's popping true. them up and showing us. Do you have wireless in your store? <laughs> um, we don't. We they don't. already have it. They already have it in their like you know save files or wow. whatever. They do. And on our website, you actually can log Pull down dresses. the dresses that you like in your own dress closet. So they bring in their own dress closet from the website with no. all of the dresses that they okay. love. Okay. So yeah. say this. Kim walks in and she is five, three. When the wind is right, my hair is very New Jersey in heels, <laughs> right? Okay. And she says, "So she's I petite." Looked at every magazine. Under the sky and all the websites, and I like the dress on these following models that are six feet tall. Yes. Then what do you say? Um, I say, you know what? Why don't we try something that might be a little better for your, you know, right. figure for your still, you know? I, I sometimes will pull that dress in and just kind of show them why it doesn't really work on her. Because you're absolutely right. Some of the models in those ads are six feet tall, and some of the girls come in are like four eleven, and they're never going to look like that. Right. And you actually say it. You, you, um, I mean, you in, don't say it like in, that. In but. a nice way. I, yeah. try to, I just try to lead them in the right direction. I try to put them in the right dress and show them why it's working on their body. You don't say like, you know, it, it, it's this, a dress, not a magic wand. No. Yeah. <laughs> Although I do have one. Do you? Good for you. And fairy dust. A fairy dust. <laughs> well, that was the last you career. On your, and you're 12 inches <laughs> taller. <laughs> <laughs> I still have a little wand in my back pocket. Good for yeah. you. All right. Now, what are the big common questions that people come with and how do you answer them? What are the, the top three questions of the... I don't I want to say the clueless bride, but the bride that has not been down this road before. Um, the top, well, I know one question that that they're always asking is um, they like to see how the consultants what's good on their body. So they'll ask the consultant, well, "What do you see for me?" Yeah. Now they're taking all of their trust and putting it in a professional consultant, and that's exactly what they're there for. Yeah. So you know they may show them something, and I always say, "Throw them the curveball, throw them something out of their box," because like what she mentioned about you earlier. You saw a picture in a magazine, just not visual enough. Mm-hmm. And half these girls have never seen themselves in a wedding dress. Of course, so they're only half. By a magazine. The other half are coming in twenty-seven times. Uh, hey, I, yes. I think I'm getting married. Yes. Next year. <laughs> I think I might be getting married. Dresses. Some girls, some girls come into Kleinfelds and um, they have no idea what they want. Right. And it, mm-hmm. it's great for us because then we can just go in the back and say, you know what, this is what we would put you in. So it's kind of nice to have that blank slate, right? Sometimes, but. I have to tell you, ever since the show, the girls come up to me and they're like, I saw you on the show. I saw you do it. Pick a dress for me. Pick a dress for me. Well, and I'm like, that's good. Okay, I need just a little filled. more information. You right. know, you know, when's your wedding? Where is it? What month is it? How do yeah. you want to look? What, what well, would you like to Well, how are the color things going? The bride wore gold earlier. Uh-huh, you, you coming, know what, there's what, no song that says the bride wore gold. No, not yet. No. But you know what really work is, <laughs> is popular right now? What the big trend is that I've been noticing is colored shoes. shoes. Yes, The exactly. girls are coming into the salon trying dresses on, and they've already got the shoes before they have the dress. Oh. Yes. Like what color? Um, Anywhere from like red reds, and 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 I saw some blue ones. Um, everything, yeah. hot pink, well, do you orange. Have to wear blue gloves like um, no Michelle gloves. Obama because she wore green <laughs> gloves and green shoes. Well, yeah, but that was with a day outfit and it was like twenty degrees outside, so right. you needed gloves. But I usually don't recommend gloves with a bridal gown. All right, tell us more about the show that's happening on Sunday, just for people that are just joining us. This Sunday night on TLC is Kleinfeld's. Um, it's um, ultimate wedding edition. Ultimate wedding edition of Say Yes to the Dress, and it you have to watch because it's about and and randy could vouch for me and we'll both say the same thing it was so heartwarming to help these three couples and you'll all see why when you tune in that we really felt like we gave them what they gave us there, there so, was some beautiful, it was beautiful. It was really beautiful. We really wanted to help these girls out. I mean, exactly. they were, well, give me one example of well, one of them. Well, one of them lost um, their entire wedding budget because of Hurricane Ike, right. and they were supporting their their family. Um, another one of the couples, um, they Our were soldiers in Iraq. Yes, uh, they're being deployed to Iraq, and actually, the bride was a tank mechanic. Yes. Okay, so that was an. You don't see that every day. <laughs> no, and the other one. Um, we was, had a cancer. One was a cancer yes, survivor. Yes, and um, his brother actually passed away from cancer. His right. his um, twin brother. Mm. And um, what was the other one? I'm trying to think. Well, the other one that wanted to get married in 48 hours was that the one getting no. Deployed? The one that wanted to get married in 48 hours was an interesting story. She was. Um, it was a, a, a back and forth battle with weight due to steroids to try to have a child, and it was um, that that was that was. Uh, there was a great connection there. I mean, you have to just we have to watch. You must tune in to watch it. I, I promise I'm you. I'm glad that you brought up, love it. Uh, brought up the weight thing, Randy and Nicole, because 
I think one of the things that, I don't want to say every bride, but almost every bride goes through is you make all the plans and you have the dress and then you stress out before the wedding and you either gain an exorbitant amount of weight right. or you lose a ridiculous amount of weight. I would say 90% lose. Yeah. So what do you do? Um, with losing, we could take the dress in. It's, it's funny that you asked this question. I used to be the director of alteration, so I know a little bit about this. Um, usually they do lose weight, and it's, it comes down to like the two weeks before their wedding where their mind is everywhere else. They're not even thinking about eating. Their metabolism is like through the roof. We just take the dress in, and I've taken actually taken dresses in down like four sizes. Oh if people God. lost massive amounts, I want to get married again. again. To me. Just to lose weight, no. <laughs> but speaking of sizes, now we're actually carrying a whole new collection of plus size dresses ah! for the fuller figured bodies. So, um, th- so that's choice. That's, that's been something because that's, that's really one of great it's an store. issue. That's an issue because you go, they bring you the picture, and you're like, you know, but well, you know what, well, we can make any girl look beautiful size does not matter Mm -hmm. um silhouette is what's important and if you get the right dress it will it will hide any flaws that you may have and lay i can make any girl look gorgeous trust me all right maureen i know you want to ask something from inside out i do trust you (laughs) you have a you have a burning question i feel it go ahead and ask they're sitting right here so you you have the opportunity right this second to ask anything you want and this may be sacrilege to them, but for a budget conscious bride, someone who's going, you know, really, really wants to go under budget, like $1,000 ain't going to cut it. With bridal, bridesmaids dresses being so affordable, extravagant and affordable yeah. and just gorgeous, is that ever acceptable? Oh, to wear it instead of a In white or ivory. A white to wear it instead dress. of a wedding dress. Beautifully wearing constructed bridesmaids white dress. Bridesmaids As dress. a wedding dress. You know what? Here's the thing it's all about your wedding and your day and it, it's not for us to say what you should wear um, I would like to dress every bride in a beautiful gorgeous silk dress but you know it's reality people need to wear what they're comfortable with what fits into their budget and what looks good on them and and ultimately it's their day right we everybody in everybody in the store has already had their wedding day so I would say it's definitely your day but with that being said we have sample sales usually once a month and the prices are pretty good. You'll see her at the next you'll one. You'll get a great <laughs> value if you come in. So I mean, you might as well and come you know in and a check couple people with a strong eye towards fashion. <laughs> but, but you know what? Here's yeah. what I have to and tell. Wait, brides. February third's the blowout sale. You should come to our blowout sale. <laughs> there you go. Maureen, the and brides line up around the corner from nine o'clock in the morning, but the sale doesn't start till three, and they camp out with chairs and mugs of coffee. I don't think in you're the convincing winter. her to come. Actually, oh, you <laughs> must come. You must come. <laughs> Listen, we'll sneak you in before them, but don't there tell them go. that. We'll have a special viewing. We'll just avoid the fact that this whole thing is on satellite right now <laughs> don't worry about it. it's all good but you know what i i was gonna have a stroke one thing one thing that i have to say i i think a little differently on this some brides say well you know what i'm only going to be wearing this hour this dress for six hours i totally completely disagree you're going to be wearing this dress for the rest of your life there are going to be photographs plastered all over your house if you look gorgeous right. if you don't I think you're going to regret it. I think that clothes really make you feel emotions. And if you have on a beautiful dress and you feel beautiful, you're going to look 20 million times better on your wedding day. And it's also the only thing for the bride. Everything else is for the guests. And you, you know, know the food, food and the doesn't dancing. last. Right. The dress flowers is the only die. thing that's for her. You take the, the, the dress home. Wait and a you second. Take the the flowers home. are for her. I know because she asked me to do she's that. Doing the flowers. <laughs> That's why she's saying forget that. the flowers, the forget fl- the cake, the spend the money on the dress <laughs> exactly. and the photographer. You gotta and have a photographer. Good pic- you, gotta have, you have to have, have great pictures. Photograph. And photograph. do people Absolutely. come to you and ask you for recommendations for other parts of the wedding? Yes, they oh, do. They have. Right. Yeah. So then that works. And we've too. got a, a lot of people that we you know we can recommend. You guys sure. are super cool, Randy Finale, Nicole Sacco. Thanks for being here. Right, thanks oh, for thank you. Us Tell so us much. again about the show one more time. This and then Sunday the night and the Wednesday night. TLC. TLC. Ten o'clock. You got the it. Ultimate wedding edition of Say Yes to the Dress. Please tune in because tune Nicole, in and watch some bride's dreams come true. Nicole and I are wacky on the show. You got it. I can't even imagine that they're wacky. That's hard to fathom. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for coming in, you guys. Thanks Thank again. you. It's 46 minutes after the hour.